Okay guys, let's now discuss one of the most important uh, concepts and principles in fluid mechanics and that is Pascal's principle. So according to Pascal's principle, in an enclosed fluid, the change of pressure is transmitted throughout that enclosed fluid. So let's say you have a a fluid inside this piping system. One end of the pipe has a higher area or bigger area, and the other end is a little bit smaller area. Okay? So there's area one here, there's area two here, which is bigger. Okay? So it says that if you, in, let's say, if you change the pressure in one side, let's say you apply a force, F1. So the pressure there, P1, will, will, will increase. It says that that pressure should be transmitted to the other end. So there should be an output force here. And the pressure, according to Blaise Pascal, should be equal to each other. P1 should be equal to P2. Okay, that's according to Blaise Pascal. So P2 should be equal to P1. Okay, so we can have some formula here on, let's say you want to determine the output force if you apply a smaller amount of force. So let's say pressure is force per unit area. So your, pre your force here is F2 over area 2 equals F1 over area 1. So it means that your force depends on the ratio of the area. Okay, between these two uh, ends of the enclosed uh, uh, tube. Okay, so you can say F2 is equal to um, A2, right? A2 over A1 times F1. So it depends on the, on the, the ratio of areas. Okay, oops. So our area here, if it's cylindrical, so you can, let's say cylindrical, something like this. So the area can be for, for, for a circle, pi r squared. So that's the formula for the area. So sometimes if you encounter physics problems, and you have to know the, the area, pi r squared. Okay, and this principle, Pascal's principle, has a lot of applications. So can you imagine, can you imagine, if you, if you can apply a small amount of force in a smaller area, the pressure is high. It will produce a bigger amount of force in the other end. Okay? And this is one of the most important application in uh, of Blaise Pascal's uh, the principle is you can actually lift a car using your small amount of force. So let's draw it. So this is the, the, the main physics principle behind input plunger and output uh, plunger. So this is like the input plunger, this is the output plunger, there's a the fluid. So let's say you apply a force here, F1, okay? We have pressure 1 equals F1 over A1 in a smaller area. You can lift a car, bigger area, bigger force, F2. So let's say this is your car. That is real. That is physics. You can actually lift a car using... If you apply Pascal's principle, and of course you have to have the, the fluid here, so this is a fluid enclosed, so there should be no leakage or whatever. Okay, so let us uh, show some uh, simulations from FET here. So I have here two openings, so in a way you can consider this as your input and output plunger. So the pressure, say 19 here. At same level, the pressure should be the same. 
because you know pressure at depths depends on the depth doesn't depend on whether you are on the side or in the middle no so they should at same level should be the same so three something like that now if i apply a force here look at that so the pressure increases okay look at here the smaller area the pressure is constant in a bigger area the pressure should be the same right but the forces are different the force here is smaller the force here is bigger the area here is smaller the area here is bigger so these can can lift heavier object okay so this is like your input output plunger so amazing, right? So this is one of the application of Pascal's principles. Okay? So next topic, I think we, we, we can discuss Archimedes' principle. See you in the next video.